What is going on? We are back doing the Cleveland Browns 2023 schedule predictions. As always, we've already done Cincinnati and Baltimore, so their wins and losses towards Cleveland, which all four of those are actually losses, are already on the schedule. So I won't really do much of a take on Baltimore or uh, Cincinnati against Cleveland. If you guys want to see that, go ahead and check out the videos uh, that I've previously uploaded. So let's get right into it. Let's start with week two then since they play with Cincinnati in week one and it's a loss. I think they lose in week two against Pittsburgh as well. I'm just not bought into Deshaun Watson and this Cleveland Brown team. I'm just... <sighs> Pittsburgh's probably the most winnable against their division opponents. And I think they will probably possibly split this, but I think they will definitely lose against Pittsburgh starting 0-2. But they'll bounce back and beat Tennessee in Week 3. Tennessee doesn't have much going for them here. There's a good chance one of the young guys are going to be playing by Week 3. Or Tannehill, who I'm just not sold on them. I feel like Tennessee's kind of on that borderline and really needs to start a rebuild here. And I, I just think Cleveland can pull off that win. As we all know, Baltimore beats them in Week 4. And then they have a bye in Week 5. Cincinnati, they also lose that. That is, uh, This is a rough start for Cleveland. They play a lot of decent teams, all their division opponents, within the first six weeks. Then they get to play one of the best teams in football, which is San Francisco. I think they lose that game pretty easily. But they'll bounce back and beat Indianapolis. I think Indianapolis is not very good. I think Indy is a very beatable team. And I think... <laughs> I think they lose against Seattle as well. This is an awful start for Cleveland, but to be fair, I'm not... If Deshaun returns back to what he was in Houston, I think they have a more shot at winning some of these games. But right now, given what he showed last year, and for the fact this roster could win with Jacoby Brissett playing decent, I don't see them winning too many of these games here. I also think that they will actually end up beating, though, Arizona Week 9, which is... Huge for them since they only currently have two wins through this time period. But I, Arizona, Kyle Murray is basically all they got. They got nothing else worthwhile here. I think that they will evidently um, be, uh, be bad. I think Arizona will just be bad. And I think Cleveland will pull off this win. In Week 10, obviously, they lose to Baltimore. But they'll bounce back and beat Pittsburgh in Week 11. This is where I think they can split with one of their division rivals, which is Pittsburgh. <laughs> them and Pittsburgh's in a similar boat. Not really sure where the quarterback is. They both have solid defenses, good run games, great receivers, I guess. But just given how their quarterbacks are, they're going to be at the bottom of this division, and I think they will split with each other. I think versus Denver, Cleveland will lose that game as well. I'm expecting Denver to have a nice bounce back season after uh, just an awful season last year. Gaining... Um, their new head coach, Sean Payton, is huge. I think he will turn um, Russell Wilson back into Seattle. Russell Wilson, I think, honestly, last year was a coaching issue. And I think Denver will have a nice bounce back year this year, unfortunately, for Cleveland. Uh, but they will knock off the Rams in Week 13. They will win that game as well. This has not gone very well for Cleveland at this point. They've only won a handful of games all season. But... The Rams are a weak team. They might have an okay season, but probably not. They're kind of at that point where they're going to have to rebuild, although they don't have any draft capital for years upon years. So rebuild could be hard for them too, but I think Cleveland will pull off this victory. And I think they'll beat Jacksonville as well. I think, um, you know, I gave Jacksonville the win over Cincy and Baltimore. I think those are just tougher opponents for Jacksonville to play. They'll focus harder. I think they won't quite look at Cleveland the same way, especially given their record at this point into the season. I think that Cleveland will just come in and beat Jacksonville. I think they'll also end up beating the Chicago Bears. I'm not really sold on what the Bears are doing this year. Um, maybe in another year or two, it really depends on what Justin Fields does. This is a big question mark with a lot of these teams. How good are your is your quarterback and are you going to be able to perform with him? And I think that's kind of where Chicago and Cleveland really, like as I've said throughout this video, are both kind of at that point where I'm not really sold on their quarterback play. Speaking of quarterback play, Houston has a rookie quarterback, and I think Cleveland beats them as well. I think Cleveland's actually on a little nice streak here. They won four straight. I think they're already pretty much out of playoff contention, though. But they, they did kind of bounce back after a really slow start throughout the season. But it kind of comes to an end at the end of the year as I think they'll lose the, the Jets. And we already know I had them losing to Cincinnati. Is it a must win for Cincinnati as Baltimore and them are, had the same record at 11-5. and five. 
I'm, I'm not – I like the Jets. You know, I think they're going to be good this year. Aaron Rodgers, I don't think, is going to pull a Brett Favre where he's just going to be mediocre as all hell. Um, like, like Brett Favre was when he went to the Jets. I, I think they're going to be significantly better than what the Jets were. And I think this will end pretty much an average Cleveland season at 8 and 9. If you guys enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.